I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Studio Series Bumblebee Concept Art Decepticon Rumble and I love this toy. Released in 2024, this figure is brand new and on store shelves right now as of the time of this recording. This is a core class figure and it retails for approximately $10. So Rumble here is pretty cool. I love that they did this because we got the Ravage for the Studio Series Bumblebee uh, Soundwave. We got the Ravage and then we never got any of the other, uh, let's call them cassettes, quote unquote, for lack of a better term. So I really love that they've put out Rumble. Hopefully we'll get a Frenzy and may maybe a laser beak at some point. I'd love to see uh, all of the other little cube dudes. We're going to call them cube dudes uh, to put into that Soundwave figure. So taking a quick look at the packaging, you've got the Transformer Studio Series uh, concept art here. I love that art of Rumble up there at the top. It says Rumble on the package. I'm going to call him Rumble. I, he's blue. To me, Rumble is blue. I go by the cartoon, and when all else fails, go by the box. The box says Rumble. Leave all of your frenzy Rumble blue versus red comments below. <laughs> so here he comes in the box. He does come packaged in robot form, and you can sit, check him out right there. Concept op art, Decepticon Rumble. Um, side, uh, side of the box here has got some close-up of the concept art right there, so you can see his face, core class. And then over here, we got some more of that artwork on the back 11 steps for transformation and we got product shots of rumble in both his cube <laughs> mode in his uh robot mode i guess cube makes sense right because uh soundwave made energon cubes that came out of his chest so i guess for his minions to come out as cubes also makes sense i guess i i don't know i'm making this up as i go he also comes with a sheet of instructions. He does come with two weapons, which are attached. It's pretty neat that you can actually put them in there in his little cube mode. Uh, sheet of instructions right there. He's very simple, very easy to transform. So here he is in his little cube mode. He is uh, just over an inch long from side to side and not even an inch tall from here to here. So he's, he's very, very small and just kind of going all the way around. So you can see what it looks like. You got a couple Decepticon symbols up here on the pylons. And uh, that's it. He's just kind of like a cubed up little dude. He does fit in Sunwave perfectly fine. So you can actually just put him in there, push him in, close him up, and he fits in there just fine. And of course, removing him is just as much of a pain as it is to remove. Uh, actually, that one, that was probably the easiest that I've had that I've removed them from there. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so there you go. Comparison-wise, here he is with Ravage. I'm sure you can see what the two of them look like together. So there you go. And not a whole lot you can do here in this mode, really. So set that to the side. And we'll move Soundwave off to the side as well. And I guess we'll transform this guy up here because he's just so tiny. So transformation, again, very, very simple. We're pretty much just going to take this whole cube here and just split it in half. There are tabs in there that are supposed to tab into these little slots here they really don't i mean it's just kind of more of a guide of where they're supposed to go but it doesn't really at least on my copy it doesn't really tab into place so you can just split it up right there and just straighten this whole thing out like so these are going to be the legs so you can take these and split them and these are going to be his weapons right there he has two of them so we'll go ahead and pop these off this one has a little slot, so that's going to go into that tab. And then this one here has a little uh, port for that peg right there. And we'll bring these up close so you can see what the little weapons look like. These are tiny. And in case you are wondering, I hit my thumb with a hammer. <laughs> if you're wondering what the heck that is, I hammered my thumb. Oh. All right, back to transformation. So we got the legs right there. We took the weapons off and now we're going to take the little toesies and point them forward just like that getting nice and straightened out there are two hinges here and i'll show you why that is in a moment which is actually really neat take the pylons here we're going to bring these to the side take the head and turn it around like so and then we're going to take the arm here straighten it out and these soft 
tab into place like so. Bring that down. And again, straighten this out. It's got two hinges. Bring those down. You can take the weapons and just peg them into the back right there. He can't really hold his weapons in his hand. There's nowhere else for these weapons to go other than on his back. It's very strange that they gave us two different weapons. Um, I really would have preferred it if we had two of the same weapon, honestly. But it's it's weird because you cannot plug one. I guess you can actually. Hang on. There, I just noticed there's a little port back here. So I guess you can do this. And I guess that makes a gun for someone else because he cannot hold weapons. So there's that. Uh, I guess it's neat that they gave us that combining weapon. Honestly, again... If these are just going to be cannons on the back of his on, on his back, I would have preferred this shorter uh, profile weapon, just two of these, and uh, I think that would have been neat just to have that. But anyway, there is Rumble in his robot mode, and again, he's tiny. He is barely two inches tall from the bottom of his feet to the top of his head. He actually does clear two with the weapons right there, so he's absolutely tiny. Bringing him in close. You can see his head sculpt. I absolutely love his head sculpt. I love his body sculpt. He looks really, really neat. He's very reminiscent of Rumble. That's exactly what Rumble should look like. Now, I guess it goes without saying, he does not have hands. He's got permanent power driver arms. So I guess that's a thing. Hopefully that won't be something that bothers you. I think it's pretty cool though. And so articulation wise, heads on a ball joint, go back and forth a little bit. You can go side to side. The shoulders can go... Uh, forward and backward all the way around you can go up and down a little bit that's it now you know there's no elbow or arm really to speak of he does have an ab crunch uh all the way forward and back like that so he's got them swivel hips not really swivels but i'm making a jay and silent bob joke swivel hips swivel hips so some of you might get that i don't know thighs can go forward and backwards and they can go in and out. That's really tight on mine, which is nice. Knees are on ball joints, and the toes can go up a little bit. And that's really more for transformation. Now, what's really neat here, the reason he has these um, joints the way he has is so that he can do that. So you can actually get him doing the uh, pilot driver position. So you can actually kind of have him doing that. And we'll bring him in close. So you can see what that looks like. So that's actually pretty neat that he can do that. And you can actually turn his head up a little further. Can you? No, I guess that's about it. So you can see he can actually put him in like little power driver poses, which is pretty neat. I dig it. Let's get nice and straightened out there. We'll bring him in close. And for comparison, here he is next to Generation 1 Rumble. So you can see what the two of them look like together and again yeah see it's not much of a departure from the original he's even got the little gold details there on the chest just like on the original very cool i dig it it's a really neat callback and that's something that they did in the bumblebee movie that first 30 minutes of the bumblebee movie was just really just a, a, a love letter to g1 which is very cool so there you go here he is next to his fellow minion ravage so you can see what the two of them look like together very cool to have the two of these again i'd love to have a frenzy and a laser beak and a rat bat all done in this style i will buy them all and here we have let's get these guys standing rumble and ravage along with sound wave so you can see what they all look like together very very neat stuff so yeah this guy is out on shelves right now. $10. It's an absolute must get. Um, I absolutely loved this concept, these concept versions of these figures. And uh, I'm really digging them. And I hope they give us more. And I think that about does it for the Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Concept Art Decepticon Rumble. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe, share with your friends if you like what you see. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.